Hey, hi, and hello there. Quern here with Thirsty Thursday. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, as you can see, not a whole lot going on in the chat today, but that's okay. I can do this show all by myself, all alone. Not a big deal. But yes, regardless, Goner is not here, our frequent guest and basically a Thirsty Thursday regular uh, for the Thirsty Thursday beer review. That's okay, because we will tre trudge, tre we will trudge forward without him. Nailed it. Hope everyone's doing okay. Hope everyone's doing all right. Everyone's hanging out, having a wonderful week. Happy Thirsty Thursday, as always, in here, out there. I hope you're having a good one. Got a special beer for you today. And with this one, uh, decided to go back to the old $9 per six pack standard, not overspend, you know, and then find myself a little bit disappointed, you know. I got my price point. And, uh, and as long as I'm hitting it, most of the weeks, every now and then, I'll treat myself. But... I don't want to go too crazy, too soon, too early, get too wild, do that stuff, yada, yada, yada. I'm talking too much. It's time for the koozie reveal. You know what's going on. Here we have the Quern TV koozie from back when I was a different Quern. I was Quern TV. Sponsored by television. <laughs> koozie reveal. Find the front. There it is. Ta-da! Not bad. Not bad. As you can see, when it comes to art, we actually have a bottle this time around and not a can. Uh, Zipline has pretty minimal art when it comes to what Zipline does with a lot of their bottles and cans. What they do is they have on every single bottle is this Zipline that goes across it along with the name of their brewery. I don't know the beer, but that design is sleek. It's it's very simple, sleek, and it gets the point across. Hey, Adorex, welcome. <laughs> the thing is, when they have them all lined up on the shelf, you have a line that goes across all the bottles, all of the cans, all of the all the packaging at the same exact level, so you get a little zip line that goes across the shelf. It's pretty cool, and I really like that they do that. They don't do too much in terms of illustrations beyond that, but it's a cool, uh, it's a cool visual motif. All right, I'll give them that. I do wish that there was a little bit more of an illustration. You know, I love my bottle art as much as the next guy, but Zipline makes good beers regardless, and I do find them to be quite admirable. Anyway, the Copper Alt. I don't know what to think about this. We'll read what it says on the label. I just got it because it was $9, met my price point, and uh, I was looking for a little something normal, not too wild, because we did the lime last week, and the and the lime was, it was good, but it was a little, it was a little, too, it was a little saucy, you know what I'm saying? This one is a hybrid style between an ale and a lager. This bronze-hued brew goes down easy with subtle nuances of chocolate and hazelnut. Okay. Okay. That sounds pretty good to me. I, I can get down with that. Now, the question is, can I open it without a bottle opener? <laughs> we'll see. We got to do the sniff test, of course. And uh, a big part of the sniff test is being able to open it. I need to go get a bottle opener. <laughs> I might have one on my desk somewhere. There, there, I have so much trash here. Okay, yeah, I got one, I got one, we're good. We're fine, we're good, we're fine. We're fine and good, we're, we're great actually. Anyway, pop this bad boy open. Give it a whiff. Ooh, when you crack it open, that smell kind of like popped out of there. Man, I can smell the thickness of this beer, okay? <laughs> it smells good. I would say like, 
you can you can sort of smell that like uh the chocolatey hazelnut no you can't it's not quite like that it 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 smells smells like a beer <laughs> it, it does smell like a like a good flavorful dark beer which is what I'm kind of expecting with this so you know all all preconceived notions aside my smell my smell much like my taste and much like my reviews are not the best but <laughs> maybe I'll get better we'll see I may I'm able to pick out smells pretty good but this one yeah it, it smells like your standard dark beer it's pretty good We'll do a little sip test now that I've, you know, shown that I have hardly a sense of smell. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's got that, um, that richness of a dark beer, but it's not overpowering. The, the issue with like a lot of dark beers is, is they taste heavy. They taste like they're going to hit you like a bag of hammers. But this one, this one, kind of, kind of a little bit more, a little bit more chill, you know? We like our dark beers here on the, here on the Quern stream and YouTube channel. But we don't go overboard with them. That being said, I do, I do still have to like chug this thing. Can't wait. <laughs> so, we got to do our pour. And then we got to do our drink test. So, wait, hold on. I forgot to present it to the camera. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. There's, there's the labeling. Hold on. Huh? There, you can sort of see it. I think that that is good enough presentation for the camera. Move it around a little bit so that way. There you go. And with their labeling, once again, very simple, very, you know, sleek, as we said earlier. But they change the color each one. So you can sort of pick them out at, at a glance of what you're going to be getting into. Enough chatting. Let's pour. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know if the I don't know if the camera's be, gonna be able to pick that up, but it does have a darker but still kind of golden brown color to it. It's it's almost like a like a brown sugar color. That's solid. That's solid. The 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 camera's making it look a little bit darker than it is, but there you can kind of get a feel for it. There's a little bit of reflections on the glass. I like it. I like it. We'll do a quick little quick little drink. See, now this is it's a dark beer, yes, but it doesn't overpower you quite as much as other dark beers will. It's sort of a, it doesn't linger, you know, it, it doesn't overstay its welcome. You know, it comes, then it's gone. Now, as to how I'll feel after drinking the whole thing, that remains to be seen. Now, when it comes to chugging these beers, I, I really do do my best. I can promise you that much. With a beer, with a dark beer... With a dark beer and a lot of your heavier beers in general, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy and it's not always fun. I'm going to give it my best shot, and you already know that I'm not the best beer chugger in the world, obviously. I'm, I'm not even good at it. But, uh, you know, I'll say this. If you watch this far in the video, thank you for watching. 
I appreciate the support that these videos have gone so far for me. And I enjoy making these ones along with all the other videos that I've been making lately. I've been trying to be on a little bit more of a grind lately and be a little bit more, uh, you know, productive with my content because I know that, uh, as long as I'm making stuff that people like, I'll keep doing it. But yes, without further ado. Yeah, okay, so, dark beers aren't chugging beers. <laughs> you can, and excuse my tears, oh, you know, oh. I'm always just such an emotional beer chugger, I can't help it, oh, oh my gosh, oh. Am I back to normal? Do I look normal yet? Oh, I still got some, I still got some in the oh. <laughs> Dark beers aren't meant to be chugged. Uh, this one, of course, isn't as dark as other dark beers. And like I said about the flavor earlier, <clears throat> not too heavy, doesn't overstay its welcome. It doesn't feel like you're drinking a meal, but it's pretty good. I honestly don't mind it. It would be a beer that you'd need to sip on though. <laughs> a beer that you'd need to sip on to uh, truly appreciate the flavor for. However, my only th the only thing that I think people would really dislike about it is if if you're looking to drink more of like a standard beer, then you're going to want to drink a standard beer. If you want to drink a dark beer, you're going to want to drink something that has got a little bit more oomph to it. This one sort of draws the line between the two. And, and of course, it's a little bit more of like a closer to the dark beer end of the spectrum. But I digress, it's still something where it's uh, neither here nor there, it's not one or the other. And I think that's the only reason why some people might dislike it. Now, I'm a beer fan, of course, you know me. And so, thinking about my review as I ramble, I'll say this, uh, it's good, I enjoy it. And I see myself drinking the rest of this six pack and being pretty, I'd be feeling the vibe. This bad boy here is 5.2%. That's not bad. You know, I, it, it's it's coming to be like a going trend of, uh, of uh, how I rate these beers. This one, not super over the top. Can't say like, uh, you know, oh, you got to drink this beer. You know, it's not it's not two thumbs up, but I would give it a thumbs up. It's, it's, it's not wildin', it's a thumbs up. I would feel, I'd feel bad if I gave it no thumbs and just be like, oh, you decide, just no. And, and there's no way in hell I could give this thing a thumbs down. That was good. You can tell that uh, Zipline knows what they're doing. A lot of their beers are pretty tasty from the ones that I have had. This one, Copper Alt is all right. You know what? I'll take it. I give it a thumbs up. And I would say, if you're looking for something a little, a little different than your standard dark beer, uh, a little bit more flavorful than your standard beer. <laughs> it's a good choice. I enjoyed it. Um, I, I guess, I guess I'll just leave it at that. Hopefully. Next Thirsty Thursday, we have uh, we have more bouncing in the chat. I do appreciate Adrex and his comment on the design. Adrex is is a longtime friend of the stream. He's been here. He's one of the OGs. Never forget. So is Goner, but Goner's probably doing something tonight. And that's all right. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this comment. <laughs> if you like this content. Hey, Adorex, uh, give me the wink, thanks. <laughs> uh, I'll be sure to keep making more. And I've been more encouraged to do like uh, some other content on my YouTube channel. So I'll be making more of that as well. I appreciate the, the support that I've been receiving. And I hope that 
Uh, if you're a, a viewer of these videos, you continue to support me. Thank you. It means a lot. That sounded really sentimental.